So we got a call for a Jeep that is down in Rattlesnake. He says he's lost his steering and it's just wandering all over the place. <laughs> no direction whatsoever. So we're gonna head up there with the wrecker and see if we can get him out to safety. I'm going on a recovery, it's super exciting. I haven't been on one in a long time and especially one with the wrecker, so it's gonna be awesome. It's almost 100 degrees out and so it's getting up there in the high temperatures and we're ready for the summer. I'm not ready for the summer. Actually, I am. I trimmed my beard. Yeah. Got, my, got my, my summer length going on here. I kind of don't care, but Jamie thinks that I need to shave it a little bit for the summer, so we just do what she, what she says. Speaking of Jamie, she is behind us in the rollback. Got the banana on the back there. The banana is gonna be assisting with this recovery. Let's go get him out. So this job is in Rattlesnake, and all we know about it is it's a Jeep with a broken steering box. So it could end up being a trail repair, or maybe we'll just lift it up and haul it out with the wrecker. We'll get in there and figure it out. We got some new no parking signs I know. here. Do you want to it? Let's unload this and uh, let's just park it down the road a little bit. All right, we got unloaded, and Jamie wouldn't get out of the driver's seat. I really do want to drive the wrecker, but I want Jamie to drive it too. So how about I drive it in, you drive it out? Deal. Tom, Lizzie, Colby, and Peanut are behind us in the banana. We're just going to head up this trail and see if we can find them. Okay, we are following behind in the banana, and we've made some awesome improvements to the banana. It's way better than it's ever been, but we can still not keep up with the wrecker. They just pull away from us on these kind of trails. But we will catch up and be with them in just a minute. I switched over to the banana, so Jamie is driving the wrecker, and I'm in here with Tom and Cole. Yes, a lot of improvements, but it's a little stiff. My head's hit the roof a few times. Oh, sorry about that. It's okay, Tom. Somebody said on the last job we should wash our windshield. I agree with you, but we didn't do it again. We can still see out it pretty good. So I didn't realize how dirty it was until you said that, and it's dirty. The customer wasn't able to give us a pin, but they say that they're just above the Midway Trail. I guess we're going to start looking there first. How you doing? Good. It's taking these bumps like a... it just travels these roads so much faster, just smoother. This is so fun to drive. It does put a smile on your face the whole time you're driving it. So many of you are quite interested in the status of our fuel gauge and the amount of fuel we have in the tank. So how much fuel do we have in the tank? I have no idea how much is in the tank. How much is indicated? Half a tank. The problem with that is it's going up as we're burning fuel. So something switched there. We don't know how much fuel we have in the tank, but we do know that it's going the wrong direction. We are cursed with fuel tank issues. So we got really good information about exactly where they are. So we've just got to get these Jeeps moved out of the way and then we will continue on our journey. Jamie just says we need some cup holders. Yes. Because I have to hold this or she has to hold it. I should just not bring it, right? I don't know. You're going to stay hydrated. Yeah. A lot of people call this trail Midway, but I can't go down it without thinking about the Hyundai Tucson. Me neither. How do you like driving this? I love it. I think it's super fun. I definitely need more practice, so. As do I. So after talking to the last guy, he says that they're downstream, but then we verified that there is a fork here and there's two ways in. So the customer's actually in between both of the drops. We're gonna go on the farther right drop. It's more extreme. I think it's more fun. 
and then we'll just sweep up the road. Inappropriate footwear. So since Jamie can make mistakes, but nobody holds her accountable for it, let's hear her excuse. I was doing regular mom things today, like getting groceries and stuff like that. So I got dressed like I was doing that, not going to work. And then I got a phone call to come drive the tow truck. So I just came the way I was. Jump as you are, as you were. time it is yeah so I believe the customer is right down there this is a pretty good descent right here yeah. We've done a ton of jobs in here and I have never seen the water that deep. Since being here last summer and doing jobs and everything, it is way higher with all of the winter storms that we had this year. So it's awesome to see how full it is. You know, it loves that. Oh, it's probably that one. Is it this? It's this yellow one right here. The yellow one? All right, so what happened here? Uh, the steering box broke. There's no steering at all. U joint. So that's what broke this lower U joint where it goes on the box. So I don't think this is a trail repair. No. How good is this bumper hooked on? Uh, I've never picked anything up with it. It looks really good actually. You get a nice frame rail on the front. And it pulls me heavy. <laughs> All right, let's pick this thing up. Is the road out of here the same road the, that we came in, or the is best it faster? Way is be this way. So rolling in here on the road, how would you say pacing was? Is this outpacing the banana? Yeah, I even 100%. talked about that. This I can't keep up with this. Right. Um, and that was Jamie's pace. Yeah, yeah, you would have. And been Jamie's faster. got a pretty good pace, but you would have been faster. So the banana, that's hard because those rocks are like the perfect size to shake the banana all over the place, and I'll bet you're just. Cruising over the top. Right you need to run airbags? So Lizzie, you want to jump in it and start it up? So we've got to get this picked up and then we've got to put our cross straps on to keep it from swaying side to side and help keep us uh, more planted. There's still a lot of people asking why you don't do a tow bar come out so Casey yeah. Liddell swears that we can do it It'll work. and he has a design that he wants me to try and I'm not opposed to trying it but my question is we literally that one that we went off of it was eight foot difference so if you had an eight foot long uh, hard bar there we would have still been coming over the top of it yeah that's what I'm afraid would happen look for us to experiment with one in the future I want to try Casey's design um, I'm not going to say it's not going to work until we try it, but nothing we've tried yet has worked. Okay, go on up with that. You want this right? That'll give you, that'll extend you pretty far. Let's okay. see if it'll, yeah, let's see if it'll work. Just put it on this. Might be too close, I don't know. We've got to get this figured out. We need to get some custom things. Yeah. We got plenty to figure out on this record still. We've got a machine that we don't know exactly what it's capable of or how to make it capable of that thing. Oh wow, that's perfect. Let's do the same thing. Yeah. Lizzie, can you turn to the right? Oh, you can't, can you? Nope. No. Oh, looks good. Grab a radio and just walk next to Lizzie for a second until yeah. we get this sorted out. I want to try something. I want Tom to ride with Lizzie on the radio and tell me what to do as far as booming up and booming down in case we get into some you know, situations where that's important. We're going to put Jamie in the banana and we're just going to roll out of here. Great. 
Yeah, you'll need to ride them a little bit. So one of the concerns when you're picking up a vehicle like this is the rear departure angle. This is a pretty gnarly trail. They got good skid protection under there, but I'm thinking I'm gonna lower the front a little bit. Ah, she doesn't have steering. So this is an example of things you folks back at home are like, I know what to do. They should have done this. And here we're like digging through it going like, hmm, what should we do? Because if you lift it up higher, the front tires won't hit rocks as easy, but the back departure is like a low rider. And you're closer to hitting the boom. Yeah. I think I'm going to go down about four inches and get just a little bit what I can get there. You just stay on the radio and tell me what's going on. Okay. If we're dragging, we'll let then you I know. can let it down and that's going to be cool. This is going to be cool. Are you sure you can handle the power of the banana? <laughs> Sorry, I'm trying to stay hydrated. She's trying to stay hydrated. <laughs> Let's do this. We are ready to roll. They said they're ready to roll. So let's roll. Literally. Yeah. Okay, you asked for it. I've done that enough times. Whoa! Oh. We just started going and the steering wheel, it just is like not hooked to anything. It just turns. but they seem to roll over everything just fine. That's a big 10 for So I've seen some comments that say we shouldn't have anybody in the tow vehicle when we're doing these off-road recoveries. Lizzie, what would happen if you weren't back here doing this? Every time we went down a hill, the front of the Jeep would have run into the back of the wrecker. So I'm basically the brakes for this vehicle and I'm not on them constantly. I'm not on them super hard unless we're going downhill. It just kind of depends. It's a whole feel game. There you go. It would not work without having somebody in the driver's seat running the brakes the whole time. The steering today is not doing anything, but yeah, sometimes do you steer? Sometimes. Sometimes it's helpful to steer. If something were to break on the rear axle of a vehicle and we picked that up, the steering would definitely be way helpful in that situation. One time when I was out of town, Rudy and Jamie came to do a job on this hill. It was a little bit rainy. They pulled a, a dead Jeep up this hill. It was quite a battle. They got it done, but we're gonna find out for the first time how the record compares to two XJs pulling a dead Jeep. Pretty much the same scenario, except for we've replaced two XJs with one heavy record. stop here and check some things out all right so for this next little part we're gonna want you probably in drive and in first gear so okay. that your engines holding you back down the hill we might put you in low range when we're going down the steep stuff not we might we probably will yeah all right we just checked the load everything's good we are now Turning on to the main road out of here. That means we're putting it in a higher gear. We already did it. It's okay. If you want me to shift it, I can't because I already did. All right, we made it off the mountain, out of the canyon, across the river, through the woods. We're gonna drop the Jeep and see if we can get it loaded on that trailer with the least amount of drama. Y'all know how I love drama. So Lizzie's yeah. got to go. I've got an appointment that I got to go to. My dad's picking me up. 
Okay. Doing good. How are you doing? <laughs> we drug this thing out of the out of the depths. Uh -huh. <laughs> so I'm not Lizzie's dad. That's Lizzie's dad. Will you let this down a little bit more, Jamie? There's no pressure on it. It's not going to come down anymore. Okay. The boom winch. The bumper. Jane? Yeah, I got this. I got it. What size shirt do you want? There you go, right there. Stop steer in the wheel. All right, we got that job done. It wasn't bad. I love, love, love the wrecker. It, it's got some stuff to sort out, but it's not like, oh no, we built it wrong. It's like, oh, we should get this finished. Very lovable very lovable we're gonna send tom back to the shop with white lightning and the wrecker colby's gonna be taking the banana back jamie and i are heading to the repair shop to drop off the jeep so it can get fixed thanks for watching check the glove box <laughs> chad this is chad or you not me <laughs> i'm gonna eat this They're warm. Like mm. a hot apple pie. Sweet victory.